So, Jesus and the real world. Um, one thing is for sure is that the real world needs Jesus. And those of us who uh, have a relationship with him um, need, need to take him beyond these safe walls. Um, we need to stop just thinking and planning, but just get out there and, and do. Um, we need to stop stalking Jesus. I think we spend uh, way too much time stalking him, uh, learning about him and uh, studying him. And I think we need to do less stalking and, and more doing. So my challenge to you is uh, roll down your window, open the door, start to get to know people and their stories. Maybe go home today and have some difficult conversations uh, that are needed to have with, um, with staff or um, domestic workers, um, gardeners, um, or maybe employers. In uh, Isaiah 58, I love the way the message puts it. I think it's because I can understand it well. This is the kind of fast day I'm after, to break the chains of injustice. Get rid of exploitation in the workplace, free the oppressed, cancel debts. What I'm interested in seeing you doing is sharing your food with the hungry, inviting the homeless poor into your homes, putting clothes on the shivering ill-clad, being available to your own families. Do this and the lights will turn on and your lives will turn around at once. Your righteousness will pave your way. The God of glory will secure your passage. Then when you pray, God will answer. You'll call out for help and I'll say, here I am. Man, I want the lights to turn on. And when I call out, I want him to say, here I am. <laughs>